hello and welcome back in the previous video we had run our project so our project is running successfully so if we go in here and if you write cde commerce and npm run dev server because we are running it on development server enter and go back to your browser and our project is working fine okay so now in this video we are going to edit our firebase.js we have written some functions before okay let me get out of this first okay we have written some functions before in this file and now we are going to add some more functions if i go to my develop project so this is the admin panel there is no product in here yet so if i go in products we have images and the details of the product so we need to add some functions for firebase inside our firebase.js so that we can add new products with product name brand product descriptions and with image okay so we need to edit our firebase.js go to the firebase go to the firebase.js file so first if you see inside our firebase firestore we will be working with the different documents okay so first is orders in which all of the orders are stored and the products that our admin is going to add different products in here and the users in our application okay so now there are no orders yet but first we will be working with our products okay so in firebase we want to get our products first whenever we click on products so all of the products from firebase should be displayed here so we'll write here or get product function get products okay let did time out is equals to false okay and this product is going to receive one argument last reference key the last reference key of the product document okay so then it will return new promise and this is the asynchronous function and resolve and reject okay so there are two arguments in it then if last ref key is present then try and then write catch okay so in try we'll write const query and write here query about for our database then we'll write here this dot db dot collection products okay because if you see in here all of the products are stored inside our products so that we can write order by app dot file store dot field path okay dot document and this is the document id human id and then write start after last ref key dot limit 12 okay and then write cost snapshot await query dot get okay and change this with cost okay then 
cost products is equals to empty array and snapshot dot for each get the document products dot push id is equal to doc dot id and all of the document we are getting the whole document okay and we are pushing the document inside the products and we are getting the products document id if you see that the document id is always the this key okay okay then cause last key and snapshot dot docs snap shot dot dogs dot length and the length is minus one okay and in the next line write resolve products last key okay okay if we are getting any errors then catch that error okay and then type reject failed to fetch products okay and in else part of this if statement write cause time out set time out Okay, and this is going to be arrow function did time out is equals to true k okay, and reject request time out please try again if your internet is not connected and you are not able to access your products then this message will be shown there request timeout please try again okay and it will wait 15,000 seconds 15,000 millisecond I guess 15,000 seconds are so long time okay now we will try to get the total a uh, total count of data okay so it's better to do this in this way try cost total sorry total query and await okay so this dot db dot collection products dot get Okay, and cause total total query dot dogs dot length came okay. and cause query and write query here this dot db dot collection products and dot order by app dot fire store dot field path dot document id okay and then we'll type limit is equals to 12 okay the 12 records will be shown there at the time and then we should write a catch here okay now it's fine okay okay in here we'll write const snapshot and await query dot get 
adding shallow parameter for smaller response size okay so to, this is the better than making a query from firebase and um, in here now we'll write here clear time out and we'll give it time out if not did time out then cause products is equals to empty array snapshot dot for each talk and this is going to be arrow function dot push and we'll push id with doc dot id and all of our document data okay and at the last we'll write cause last key and snapshot dot docs reading mm, wrong spelling and then in here snapshot dot docs dot length minus one okay resolve products last key total okay and then in catch we'll write here if did time out then return okay and in console we'll write console.log fail to fetch products and error occur while trying to fetch products or there may be no products okay and we'll give it error and then reject failed to fetch products okay okay now we have written our code or function for getting all of our products in here okay so right there fetch more items okay so if we refresh this then you can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and you can see with this code we are only limiting to fetch our data with 12 products so this is all from this video in the next video we will be talking about more functions for admin